Hey there Virgo. This is Renee and welcome back. This is going to be your next 48 hours. What's going to happen, what you can expect, what is unfolding this next 48 hours. So enjoy. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe, hit that bell. And if it doesn't resonate, take a look at your sun, moon, and rising in the March playlist. Okay? And I will attach that at the end. Okay, what is going on for Virgo? Sun, moon, and rising. We have the Queen of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune. The World. Woo! And the Ten of Wands. I mean, excuse me, the Four of Wands. At the bottom, we have the Knight of Swords. Okay. So I feel like you are, you're expecting some kind of information, but I feel like this information is being delayed. There's something that you've been wanting to find out about. It could be about career. It could be about your personal life. It could be about your finances or love. Okay, uh, take it how it resonates, but there's some kind of information that you're waiting for. You're waiting for some kind of clarity, but I feel like once you receive this information, and this information is coming soon, once you receive this information, it's going to change everything. Okay, I feel big, big changes coming into your life. You're completing some sort of cycle. There's some sort of challenges and struggles that are ending for you. And you are having this new beautiful beginning that is going to be very happy and abundant. A reason for celebration. Okay? You are finding out this information and it's a true turning point to where you have been in the recent past. Okay, so it could be uh, about some kind of job proposal, about some kind of love proposal. Um, but I feel like this information that you're receiving is reason to celebrate. If you're seeing the numbers 11, 11, it is no coincidence. Because the angels are telling you that happiness, abundance, celebration is coming your way. Okay, you are being divinely protected. Okay, let's get more messages for Virgo. Sun, moon, and rising. Okay. We have the temperance. We have the four of cups. And we have the ace of cups. Okay, at the bottom we have the Seven of Swords. So I think there was some kind of misunderstanding uh, between you and someone close to you. There may have been someone who wasn't telling you the whole truth with this Seven of Swords energy, you know. Um, but I feel like, you know, it left you wanting to work things out, wanting to get a better understanding. Um, whatever the situation was. And I feel like you're coming to some sort of resolution. Some kind of new uh, relationship with this person. Some kind of new passion is unfolding. Okay? Um, but with this temperance card, I feel like there's a lot of healing going on. There's a feeling of being balanced. A blessing is being released in your direction if there's more than one offer that has been given to you i feel like there's an offer that you're releasing you're not accepting this offer okay because you feel like there's a better offer on the table that will give you more money more stability more time to yourself so there will be an offer that you will be refusing, but I feel like there's another offer right behind it that's giving you so much more. Okay? Okay, more messages 
for Virgo. Let's get more messages for Virgo, please. The Emperor and the Five of Swords. Okay, I feel like you're struggling at this time to gain some kind of control. You're struggling to um, find your confidence, find your ability. Um, but I feel like that struggle is only going to last for a time because I feel like, you know, this is being worked out and it's being worked out in your favor. You're taking that confidence and you are, you know, walking away with a better understanding of your abilities, of your capabilities. You know, you, you have done the work. You've done the, the inner work becoming more stable and I feel like you you finally understand that you are only responsible for the things that you can handle okay that's the words that I'm getting you're only responsible for the things that you can handle Okay, so those other things that come into your life, they may be things that maybe you either try to find a situation that it can be resolved or you have someone help you through the situation. And I feel like I need to let you know, Virgo, that it is okay to ask for help. Okay? Okay, let's get some more messages for Virgo. The next 48 hours, please. More messages for Virgo. Clarify this situation, please. Oh, wow. Okay, we have the Two of Cups and we have the Ace of Cups. Okay, if there is love that you are looking for, Virgo... We have the Nine of Swords at the bottom. So this is something that you are not seeing coming towards you. You're not expecting this. In fact, you feel very doubtful that it is on the way. Okay? Um, but you have love. You have love and a greater understanding for this new love that's being brought to you. This is something that is totally new. It's totally refreshing. Totally taking you out of your comfort zone and putting you into this feeling of this overwhelming passion and romance. Okay? This overwhelming feeling of being loved, being guided, this friendship, this new thing that's bringing you new life. Okay, so if you are open to love, Virgo, there is a new, beautiful love coming around for you. And I feel like this is something that you are not expecting at all. As a matter of fact, I'm feeling that you, you're very doubtful that this feeling will ever come about. Because I feel like you're so focused on other things. You're so focused on, you know, creating this beautiful life for yourself, Virgo. You're, you're so focused on maybe finding a new job, finding a new place, that you're unaware of what is truly coming before you. Okay? Okay, we have freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness beautiful at the bottom we have guilt 
I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Okay, so I'm, I believe that there is something that you're releasing. You're releasing that doubt, that disbelief that you can have everything that your heart desires, everything that the universe has intended for you, Virgo, is yours and yours alone, you know? Um, you just have to believe. Believe in yourself, Virgo. Believe in your abilities. Okay, let's get some monology cards for Virgo. We have take time to breathe out. So make sure you take time for you, Virgo. Take time to regain your focus, to regain your self-care, you know, to regain your, your spiritual path, you know. Um, have faith in your dreams. So, beautiful energy for Virgo. Let's take a look at the moon manifestation monology. What is going on for the manifestation monology, please? Talk less and feel more. Last quarter moon in Pisces. So, Pisces, I think the spirit, the spirit is letting you know to not just talk about the things that you want, truly feel the feeling it will be to actually receive those things into your life. Don't talk about, I'm going to have this job. No, truly feel in your soul that this job is yours. Feel how it feels to have this job, to walk into this place, to have this income that it provides. You know, uh, feel what it feels to have this love. Feel the embrace, you know, and not just talk about things, but truly feel that desire to have them, okay? To really feel how it feels to have them at the present time in your life, okay? Uh, we also have new moon in Sagittarius. Focus on the positive. So think positive thoughts. I think that's going to be very, very beneficial for you to bring that positivity into your life, okay? Think positive thoughts and you will attract positive things. Okay, let's get a uh, card from the universe message from the universe please for Virgo we have instead of praying for an outcome pray for the highest good for all okay and we have in every moment the universe is conspiring to bring me toward right-minded thinking and the the energy of love so I feel like the universe is pushing you towards this love situation and you may not even realize it okay let's get a love oracle for virgo give me a love oracle for virgo please what is going on for virgo the next 48 hours okay we have not enough i feel like you have a lack of confidence Virgo, I feel like you may be self-sabotaging your situation, um, but I feel like there's a need to let go of this reason to self-sabotage and just let things flow. Let things just flow naturally. Don't try to force a situation because you do have love coming in. You do have love that's coming in for you. A very strong, capable, beautiful love. You know, but I feel like, you know, there's no need to rush. Just let things unfold naturally. You know, let this love grow and expand 
in its natural state. Just enjoy the ride. Okay? That's what I'm getting. Just enjoy the ride. Okay, Virgo? Uh, we also have camera. So you may be reminiscing about past situations, but I feel like you are currently learning from those past mistakes. And really taking notice so that those mistakes aren't relived okay so um i feel like you are trying to make new memories that are more positive more outgoing more abundant okay because I feel like you may have had a lot of heartbreak in the past. You may have had a, someone who truly betrayed you. Someone who really stabbed you in the back. Um, but I feel like you are moving past this. You're growing. You're learning. You're expanding. You're going into this new phase. And this new love that's coming forward for you is very beautiful. It's brand new. It's going to make you feel, you know, um, a sense of your faith being renewed in love, okay? And I feel like this is preparing you for this union. This is preparing you for what is to come, okay? So this is very important, Virgo, so I need you to notice this full message because this full message is very important very important for your love very important for your career and your finance so um, although you're working on things I, I really want you to take time to feel more feel how it feels to have the things in your life that you truly want and deserve Okay, so Virgo, this is the message that I have for you. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Um, I have the March playlist up. So take a look at your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus for more messages, okay? And Virgo, until your next reading, many blessings, love and light.